Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. Today is day number 18 of Vlogmas. So right now I'm about to go to Amelia's to get Emily and I some lunch. I'm gonna see if they have a sandwich that they're selling. Normally they do daily sandwiches. I'm gonna go there and if they're not selling anything today cause I didn't see anything posted on their Instagram, but if they're not selling something, I'm gonna go to the goose market or goose the market and get a sandwich. Um, what else am I doing? Later today, I'm uh, recording a video with Milky Way Matthew. He just finished the Petermon vlog challenge of 14 days of vlogging. So we're gonna make a reflection video and it's gonna be posted on his channel maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight, I'm, I'm not sure, but we're making one tonight. We're just gonna talk about what daily vlogging uh, has done for us and reflecting on it and stuff like that. So. But yeah, so right now I'm going to Amelia's and I'm going to talk and drive and I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to, we're just going to go and we're just going to see what happens. So, okay, I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm on my way to Amelia's. I really hope they have the sandwich with cilantro on it. I know some of you do not like cilantro. I think it's amazing. I've never had cilantro on a sandwich before this place up here at, at Amelia's. So it was super good. I hope they have it, but I don't know. I don't know what they have. So what else is happening? Well, uh, I've been, well, Milky Way Matthew just called me. Some of you may not know, you probably don't, but Milky Way Matthew is one of my best friends in real life. So we talk every day and we went to college together. So we talk a lot and yeah. So it'll be pretty fun doing a video with him. I'm sure it'll be great. Good conversation. Um, what else has been going on? I, so this might seem kind of weird, but I keep up with high fashion. I don't buy high fashion cause I do no, I just don't. But I look out what comes out, what's new. And um, I, I keep up, I don't know how to say all the names, but this company called Mason Margel, Gelio, Mar, Margela, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm tearing it apart, whatever. They're, they're a high brand in Paris, from Paris. They're a fashion brand from Paris. Anyways, they just came out with these super ugly, which this is my opinion, and I, but super ugly loafers that are split in the middle like that. Really weird, they cost $1,200. So I'm like, wow, there are people that will buy that. It's crazy to me. It's just crazy. But at the same time, so they're a luxury brand, but not really. They're just a, they're more of an aesthetic art brand and they sell really expensive clothing. I mean, that, I mean, it's art. That's what it's meant to be. It's, it's, you know, it's meant to push the fashion industry forward. So maybe if someone bought those shoes and they did really well, uh, oh, we're going through construction. If uh, someone bought those shoes and they did really well, maybe a main person would sell them, like S Steven, Steve Madden or whatever. So very interesting. I do, I, I know they're expensive and I think it's silly, but there's, I know there's a space for it, you know what I mean? There's a space for almost anything in fashion, even the golden goose shoes that people buy. And hey, that's whatever. I know if you don't know what those are, they're, they're these sneakers that look dirty and they cost maybe $350 to $700, just depending on what type you get. And sometimes they're really gaudy, like they'll, you know, whatever. But people love them. And I do think there's a space for that and whatever. If people like it, people like it. So so yeah, I've been looking at that. I just thought it was funny. And uh, Mason Margell or whatever they're called also has a $700 hoodie that just came out. So, so drama, so crazy. So, but you know, you could also, so luxury to me, so they're kind of a luxury brand. Luxury to me means it's very comfortable and it's expensive. And I don't think they're technically luxury because I doubt their stuff is comfortable because it's so artistic. 
Because, you know, I could, I would say Ralph Lauren, Ralph Polo is luxury. Because I bet their, st I mean, I know their stuff can be really comfortable. So you get a robe, it's expensive and comfortable. Isn't that the definition of luxury? So, yeah. So that's what I've been thinking about. I read on the news that, this is crazy, Tyson Chicken, you know, Tyson, they cut up meat and all that. Uh, they fired seven managers because they had a ring of betting going on about how many employees would get the virus. It's like, oh my gosh, I cannot, why are you making a bet about that at your own company? So they got fired and, and uh, Tyson also had this really weird incentive, which is not that weird. Actually, it's not weird if it wasn't at this moment, like during the COVID times. Um, it was an incentive that if they went to work every day for three months, they got a $500 paycheck. So, or a bon $500 bonus. And uh, I think the court is, well, the court is mad about it because it's making people who are sick, it's, in, it's giving them, them an incentive to go to work and it's the meat that most of America eats. So that's crazy. Also, I, I know nothing about sports, but I also read that uh, college, NCAA and a bunch of other college sports in general are at this, uh, blah, 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 I don't know what I'm saying, Supreme Court level. So they're meeting with the Supreme Court, the NCAA is, and it's gonna be, which I know this has been in the news before, but it's becoming more official. Like, are college students or college players, are they employees or are they students? And do they deserve a higher salary? So that will be a very interesting uh, conversation. Because my opinion is, you know, they are, I mean, they make tons of money. They make the schools tons of money, you know? I mean, you think of Zion Williamson. He's, uh, he was a college player for Duke. I mean, he made that school so much money, you know? And now he has an $8 million contract in the NBA. Think about what he could have had. I mean, he, I mean, think about what he could have had, <clears throat> you know? With, I mean, think about how much the college would have to pay him. But at the same time, I really don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, but I do think uh, colleges probably, possibly take advantage of them. It's crazy because, you know, if you're 18 and you're kind of famous, you can get tons of brand deals. And companies are making money off of you when you're on TV. So Nike might throw up a commercial. Nike's, Nike's a, you know billion dollar multi billion not billion they're like however much 10 billion plus profit if not more maybe 20 billion i don't know a year revenue 10 billion dollars of revenue and they're using your name on a bunch of stuff that's crazy so but at the same time you could also argue well they wouldn't have a place like there wouldn't you wouldn't be famous if there wasn't the machine that sports has become you know college sports have become so very interesting read, very interesting conversation that was being done about this. So, okay, I don't know what I just talked about. So, oh, thanks, thank you for listening. If you're still watching or listening, comment down below. Leaf, leaf, yeah. There's no leaves on a tree. Here's a tree in front of me. I just said it. That's why I said leaf because there's no leaves on there. Okay, I'm going inside to Amelia's. I'll be right back. I may or may not take you inside. It just depends how awkward the situation is. So, okay, I'll be right back. Oh no, Amelia's is closed today. Until they can get uh, test results. That's such a bummer. What do I even do? What do I do now? I don't know what. To, I don't know where I'm going. I guess I could always go to Calvin Fletcher's. There's also this uh, this taqueria over here. I might go to. Maybe I should just do that. I don't think Calvin Fletcher's has lunch, so. Okay, 
I'll be right back while I figure it out. So I did not end up going to uh, the Golden Goose, the Golden Goose, whatever it's called, Goose Market. I did not go to the Taqueria. I am going to Bull's Barbecue, no, not Bull's, Gold's Barbecue. So it's just right here. I'm going to show you guys it and hopefully get some barbecue. I'll be right back. So here's Gold's Barbecue, Old Gold Barbecue. So I am back from Old Gold Barbecue. Gold's Barbecue, I'm just gonna call it Gold's Barbecue. Whatever. So here's the packaging. And I'll show you uh, the sandwich when I get to my apartment. So now I'm on my way. I gotta get back to get to work. And yeah. So one time I was in a barbecue commercial for a local barbecue place uh, in the town I lived in. I had uh, just, me and my friend went there and for lunch or something, and there was a whole camera crew. I have never, first off, I've never seen the commercial, but they gave us a bunch of food and they were like, hey, uh, just, just take giant a giant bite of these ribs and like say that you like it or something so weird but i did it and they gave us a sandwich they gave us like different sandwiches and they're like take a bite of it and just talk or take a bite of it and smile at each other I'm like okay whatever i i've so that's a story that was interesting so yeah and they had all these they had like you know, different plates of all the food, different ribs. It was all specialized, looked picture perfect. I never knew, I never knew if I was in the photo or the, the commercial. I'm, yeah, I doubt I was. So, yeah, dude, I think this dude's going the wrong way. Well, I feel bad for people who just get here. Indy has a lot of one ways, so that's a bummer. Oh, maybe he's just going to Salvation Army. Well, so it's official. My mom has COVID. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy to me. It's been pretty mild though, so that's good. So both my parents have it. I don't know what Emily and I will be doing for Christmas. Well, I'm gonna show you the sandwich when I get up there, they were really nice. I didn't film too much because I was afraid. It was just two very macho men cutting up barbecue. I did, I was, I'm scared, I don't want to film that, so. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, so here is what the sandwich looks like from Old Gold, Texas Barbecue in Indiana. I've no, I haven't opened this, I'm just doing it now, so hopefully it looks fine. Oh my gosh, how do I do this? Ooh, they use a brioche bun. They got some pickles and onions. Very, very uh, wet, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be amazing. And they toasted the bun. So there's the barbecue and this is some barbecue sauce. I think it's gonna be amazing. So, if no one's told you this today, you are loved. This world is a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, I'll be in a video with Milky Way Matthew tonight, so you can check that out as well. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.